Hey guys, so I'm going to be giving some insight into my thought process on this one hour coding challenge. Um, so going into this challenge I kind of planned out in my head how Tetris could be implemented and pretty long ago I tried making it um, in Unity while I was still learning about Unity and all. So from the start I knew I wanted the blocks to be from like the blocks positions to be from 0 to 9 um, since Tetris is 10 blocks wide and 20 blocks high so if I make it from 1 to 9 it would be easy for like a 2 day array accessing um, so I moved everything and made myself two guidelines um, so then I created a grid system which would be handling everything um, from spawning to checking if the row is full to checking if it can be on the certain position so I made a two day transform array or two day of array of transforms to store the blocks in and if there isn't a block in the specified position then the transform is null so using uh, equal equal null is a really handy way to check if there is already something on the position so I also whenever I spawn a new block I store it in a current group transform and I store all the child objects so all the blocks into a list um, so if we apply rotation on the group objects, which is the parent, we might get rounding issues in the child block. So I defined a rounding function, which returns a rounded position using the math after the round. Um, okay, so then for adding the group, we need to check if it's actually possible for this block to go where it wants to. So I first check if we can add the block to the to the two-day array and if I can I just add it and if I can't I move it back down so for like the move down function the falling of the block function I remove all the child transforms from the 2d array then I move the group down I check if I can add it if I can add it just uh, put all the transforms into the 2d array and if we can't add the object, so if there's something in the way, we move the group back up and then add it to the grid again. So we know it's done falling, so we have to spawn another block. So for the like rotating and moving left and right functions, it's basically the same. Um, so just removing all the transforms, moving it in a way, or rotating it in a way, checking if uh, the new transforms can be added to the grid. If not, we just move it back. So. Then I had a small bug where I could keep moving right and my console was getting spammed by my uh, is possible to add to crit or something and um, so I basically forgot to remove the current group from the transform using when I was pressing AD um, for moving left and right so this caused the, to the array to just fill up with the same transforms uh, and then a small mistake in the is possible grid position function which I didn't uh, take into account my width was 10 and I had to do width minus 1 for otherwise you could move one out of the play position uh, the yeah, play field um, so after quickly testing out some possible scenarios um, I started working on a check for a full row function so I check for deleting a row or checking for a full row whenever I spawn a new block so I don't have to continuously do it every frame um, and I also like I, I do the checking by just looping over the row and checking if there's one null transform and if there is I know the row isn't full um, so to delete a row I just delete all the transforms on the specified row and then move all the transforms of all the rows above one down and then uh, remove all those transforms and put them into the next uh, like the y below it the row below it so for testing purposes i first set the falling function called falling function using the keyboard input but in tetris this is automatic so i implemented this using a coroutine which waits for a certain amount of time and then makes the block fall but i also wanted to wait for like a sped up version uh, so the block can go down really fast so whenever you did it was uh, 
the keyboard and put space um, and then I just move it down every frame so you can just tap it and it'll go down a bunch so after making this work I made all the possible locks and added MS prefabs to the grid system which I previously set up um, with like a list and a random it picks from it I also made a little mistake where I didn't actually get all the blocks I got um, I, I did minus one but it actually didn't need it um, so then checking my time I quickly wanted to add a game over state which led to numerous null exceptions so I was able to fix all the null reference exceptions and linking up a basic canvas just before the timer ran out um, game over state is really easy if I spawn an object and it can be spawned anymore anymore we know like it's game over and then to implement a score but um, I only had an hour so I think it's pretty okay okay guys thanks for watching um, this is the first time I ever did this sort of voiceover so if you like to let me know if you'd rather see like a coding time-lapse without an explanation make sure to let me know as well um, I have a Twitter you can follow me there um, I post something every Saturday um, or you can play some games that I made on itch.io um, thanks for watching and leave some suggestions down below in the comments. Thank you. Bye.